Hello viewers, hope you all are doing good. Welcome to this video. I am Nawaz and this is NXZ, the Linux card channel. Alright, in this video we will see AWS code commit and how to operate it and manage it using AWS CLI. So in my previous video I have introduced to AWS code commit how to create a repository and configure credentials and so on. And in this video let's see how easy it is going to be for managing it from AWS CLI. So if you want to follow along with this video, search in my playlist for how to configure AWS CLI. So whatever we do in this AWS management console through web browser, we can do it through AWS CLI. Today we are going to see how to create repository, create branch and list of things that I'm going to show you in this video and this is the list. Um, so let's see how we can interact with our code commit repository using AWS CLI and at the end of this video, I will show you how to import your existing GitHub repository into AWS code commit. So if you've got a GitHub repository and you want to import it to AWS code commit, so let's see how we can do that as well. Okay, so AWS CLI, you should have configured it by now. If not, follow my other video. Okay. So on my left here, you see there are no repositories present at the moment. So let's go to our terminal and AWS configure AWS access key ID is present secret access key default region is US East 1 and output format is none okay that's nice so AWS code commit is the command AWS and then code commit is the sub command and then there is help so if I press enter and that's gonna further show what we can do with this sub command so for repositories, we can do create repository, delete repository, get repository, list repositories and so on. For branches, we can create branch, delete branch, get branch, list branch, update default branch and so on. So these are the list of things that you can do from the CLI for the code commit. And for every individual sub command, you also have the help function. For example, uh, AWS code commit let's say create repository and if I do help so there you see we have create repository and we can pass this argument which is repository name uh, these are the optional values so if I scroll down you also see the example so this is the example AWS code commit create repository repository name and the repository description okay so let's do it so aws code commit list repositories so the list is blank as i don't have any repository okay so let's create the repository so aws code commit create a repository and if you don't know anything you can also always pass the help function and that's going to show you what arguments you can pass so create repository and the repository name is the only required option here and these are optional tags and repository description and we also saw the example down here so let's create the repository so aws code commit create repository and minus minus repository name repository name let's call it demo repo and I'm also going to pass a repository uh, description description my demo repository enter okay that's created and if I reload this there you go demo repo and also we can verify it from here so AWS code commit and list repositories so there you go the repository name and the repository ID okay so we have done list repositories create repositories so let's do get repository so AWS uh, code commit get repository and if you don't know anything pass the help function so the only option required here is the repository name so let's do that AWS code commit 
uh, get repository minus minus repository name is demo repo and that's just going to show you the same information which we got above if you remember here it is account id repository id repository name description and your uh, creation date the modified date and the more more important information here is this uh, http url and ssh url and if you want to log into your repository there is this https url and ssh url or oh, sorry ssh url and in my previous video i have explained your um, https git credentials and ssh git credentials to be able to clone and push your repository changes to code commit so we've seen list repositories create repository and if you want to know the detail of a particular repository you can use as you know get repository command and you can pass the help function okay so let me show you how to clone your repository okay here we have the HTTPS URL and SSH URL and I'm gonna copy the SSH one okay and I have already set up the SSH keys I have generated the SSH key pair and I have uploaded my public key to AWS so now I can do git clone and git push using SSH so git uh, clone this enter You appear to have cloned an empty repository and we have our repository here so d cd to demo repo ls nothing git status on branch master okay so let's create a dummy file so touch file git status git r and git commit with the message uh, okay test file git status okay get push and that's not gonna ask me for my username and password because i'm using the ssh credentials okay so git status the branch is clean the git branch minus l we have one branch which is master and git remote minus v sorry minus v and the origin is ssh so that's our ssh url to fetch and push uh, our and all sort of things okay so now how do you branch uh, how do you create a dev branch for example or a staging or a production or anything um, at the moment we only have one branch which is master so i'm going to show you how you can create a new branch from this commit which is this so we have one commit so i'm going to show you how you can uh, create a new branch from this commit so when you have a master branch you will have a list of commits in our case we have just one commit but if you've got a list of commits you can create a branch from a particular commit so as i have only one commit i'm gonna create a branch from that commit so aws code commit create branch uh, minus minus repository name if you don't know anything you can pass the argument help and that's gonna further show you the more information so the required option are repository name branch name and commit ID so we know the repository name we know the branch name so to get the commit ID what we can do is AWS code commit get branch minus minus repository name is um, a demo repo minus minus branch name is master enter so there you have your commit id i'm gonna copy that okay now let's create the branch uh, create the branch so aws code commit create branch minus minus repository name is demo repo minus minus branch name is dev and minus minus commit id is this enter okay so the branch is created so to check what branches we have aws code commit list branches minus minus repository name is demo repo 
So we have the master branch and the dev branch. And here in my browser, if I go to my demo repo, so we have our file and here the master branch and the dev branch. So now as you see that the default branch is master. So what, let's say that you want to make dev branch as your default branch. So what we can do is AWS code commit help and I'm going to grab for update or what we can do branch okay and update default branch so AWS code commit update default branch help so update default branch takes uh, two options repository name and default branch name and if I scroll down we also have examples there you go AWS code commit update default branch repository name okay and default branch name so let's do that AWS code commit update default branch minus minus repository name is demo repo minus minus default uh, branch name is dev enter okay so that's done so to know what is our default branch we can do aws code commit get repo sorry get repository minus minus uh, repository name is demo repo so the default branch is dev and if I go back to my repository and here in the demo repo and here dev is the default branch now okay that's cool so let me change it back to master that was just for fun okay get repository change to master demo repo the default branch is master okay so that's how you create branches a uh, new branch and if you want to change the default branch you can do that now let's go ahead and delete the branch so what I'm gonna do is um, AWS code commit delete branch and if I type help it will show me all the options so we have to pass a repository name and the branch name. So let's do that. AWS code commit minus, uh, okay, delete uh, branch. Okay, minus minus repository name is demo repo and minus minus um, branch name is dev, enter. Okay, that's gone. AWS uh, code commit list branches. Minus minus repository name is demo repo. There you go, we only have master branch now. Now let's go ahead and delete the repository as well. So AWS code commit uh, deletes uh, repository and minus minus repository name is demo repo. And that's gone and if I go to my repositories oh there is nothing here and also AWS code command list repositories and the repository list is empty so that's how you normally work with your code commit repository from a command line using AWS CLI Alright, so I told you I'm going to show you how you can import your existing GitHub repository. So let me go to my GitHub repository. And here I have created the AWS repository. And here I have some commits. So let me maximize this. So there you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the SSH URL and I'm going to clone it here. So git git clone this enter 
so we have the AWS repository LS git status nothing okay so if you see my git remote is this and the origin is uh, it's relying to github.com so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to change it to the uh, code commit repository and then if we push it all the changes and all the files will be pushed back to the code commit repository so let me show you how you can do that so AWS code commit list repositories so currently we don't have any repository if you go here we have no repository so I'm going to create a repository first so AWS code commit create repository uh, minus minus repository name is AWS the repository is created so list repositories so we have one repository and this is the repository ID and reload here okay there you go we have the AWS repository now what I'm gonna do is if I do git remote minus v so I have to change this origin my remote so what I have to do is AWS code commit git repository uh, minus minus repository name is AWS and that's gonna give me the SSH URL so I'm gonna copy that because I need that one copy and now git remote minus v let me verify that so this is the origin so git remote set URL origin is this now git remote minus v so that's changed to my github uh, sorry git code commit repository and now if I do git push so that's gone all right so git status okay also I want to push any tags that I have so git push minus minus tags I guess or is it follow tags mm, follow tags anyway so you can do that so I just wanted to give you a rough idea that how you can import your existing github repository into code commit so now if I go to my repository here so I've got all my uh, files here okay so let me go ahead and delete this repository so rm minus rf aws okay and also i'm going to delete this repository from code commit so aws code commit uh, delete repository minus minus repository name is aws that's gone aws code commit list repositories And there you go we don't have any repositories and if I go here and that's gone all right so that's all I wanted to show you in this video and if you guys have any questions any suggestions or any issues please feel free to leave a comment and I should be able to get back to you guys as quickly as possible and thank you so much for watching this video see you guys in my next video take care bye bye